This is Super Chief Gallery. From our warehouse in LA, we produce shows with everyone from world famous artists to people who are just getting started. For over a decade, it's been our mission to find the most exciting talent around and create memorable exhibitions with them. We believe art is a powerful tool that should be accessible and fun. Hey, this is Bill, director of Super Chief Gallery LA. It's January 2024, and we're getting ready to produce our first big art show of the new year, Delincuentes. The show is a group exhibition focused around the Southern California underground art scene, curated by Super Chief, El Clasico Tattoo, and LA Unplugged. Uh, it takes a ton of creativity and hustle to put together something of this scale. So we wanted to share a bit of the documentation and behind the scenes to shed some light on what goes into that. The title of the exhibition, Delincuentes, takes its inspiration from a flyer published by a countercultural space in Mexico City during the mid-2000s called Multiforo Alicia. Uh, at that time in Mexico City, um, there was widespread protests against so-called delinquency which was a term pinned on everybody from punks and skins to emos to kidnappers to cartels. Essentially anyone doing anything against the status quo at that time was grouped under the umbrella of delinquency. And these kids from Multiforo Alicia, this countercultural space, launched their own counter campaign to this populist rhetoric and proclaimed that I am a delinquent and, and represented for the kids uh, seeking opportunity in the system. My friend, journalist Daniel Hernandez, covered the anti-reactionary moment of history in Mexico City in his book, Down and Delirious in Mexico City, in a chapter he called The Delinquent is Us. So for some more context and an updated perspective on this moment in Mexico City history, uh, I took a trip to visit my friend Daniel in South LA and we talked about what we could remember from that time and uh, sort of what it was like at that moment and how it pertains to the art exhibition that we're putting together now. There's a venue that was called Foro Alicia, Multi Foro Alicia. And the Foro Alicia was a place where a lot of this um, was a safe space, if you want to call it in uh, today's terms, where a lot of these cultures could get together generate their culture, socialize, listen to bands, hear bands, or be shows. Um, and it was a political place, you know what I'm saying? And um, uh, Mexico in the 1980s may as well have been communist China or communist Russia. In the um, iron fist oppression of youth subculture, if you were a punk with Mohawk and there were many then, you would get pulled over, beat the shit out of you by cops, thrown into jail for a few days for no fucking reason, let go. They would pick up kids, literally. I interviewed kids, the older people then who would tell me this. They would pick you up, knew that you were a punk from Santa Fe, take you to a Catepec, dump you out there in a Catepec where there was obviously going to be a regional geographical conflict with no money and have you find some way to like fend your for your life and get back across literally like an urban jungle. It was um, a moment of a lot of oppression and suppression for young people. And young people in a lot of ways at that point were responding to the failings of the government to both give them economic opportunities, educational opportunities, and so on. And so when Foro Alicia came up with this flyer in response to that media panic, and they said, I'm a delinquent, I'm 20 years old. You were 20 years old at that time. Right, right, right. There you are. I'm 20 years old, I'm young, I have no right to an education, work, um, 
Vivienda, housing. Housing. A la salud. Health. Healthcare. Healthcare. And many other things. And many other things. Of course, people fall into these tribes. They call them mm-hmm. tribus urbanas, mm-hmm. urban tribes. Mm-hmm. And that's where they can find support, family, a network. Creativity. And creativity and expression. And that, on the bright side, uh, creates a lot of wonderful creativity in visual art, in music, um, in uh political thinking, Mm -hmm. in writing, in flourishing, and in documentation of every kind of sort. And so what did we do? We just fell into the party. You know, every night of the week, there were 10, 20 freaking things to go see, whether it was shows, punk shows, whether it was like DJ nights or club nights. And it really was a moment in which If you were under 30, um, you actually had quite a lot of opportunity to find your people, to find your own tribe, to make your own little web of family while you were being rejected at home, rejected by the state, demonized by the media, and cast aside by all the institutions and by uh, all of the networks that were supposed to theoretically help you become sort of like an acceptable member of society that's like they were saying you're the problem with society you kids and your newfangled culture and whatever the hell you're about with the subculture you're the problem right we need to return back to the way things used to be blah 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 right-wing reactionary traditional values in every way and so the the kids were saying oh you have a problem with the delinquency you blame delinquents for everything well we're the fucking delinquents. I'm the delinquent. Yeah. We are the delinquent. Yeah. You are the delinquent. Literally, to the administrators of the city. <laughs> Soy delinquente. Yeah. Tengo 20 años. Soy joven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm the horrible street person. I'm against the policies of the government. I'm against the wars. I'm against the discrimination by our police. I'm against the being a part of the system and paying my taxes. You know, I just want to... Do my art, do my thing, find my people, and make a better life. Yeah. Like, fuck you. We don't all have to buy into the system. Be cool with your community. Be cool with your neighbors. Be cool with your family. Uh, find your tribe or tribes. Um, make a patchwork. Make a quilt of the culture that belongs to you. And, um, you know, yeah, I may not wear, like... Uh, boots and studs and all black anymore (coughs) you know like at a certain moment in my life as I may have but like that's always going to live inside of me and I think that um for you and for the artists that you work with and for the artists that are participating in the show that that I feel is coming through in not only this exhibit but exhibitions like it and that we should always honor and we should allow subsequent generations and future generations to uh, find that tension and to kind of keep creating within that line between like what society considers acceptable and how we can respond um and create our own kind of like paranormal or like supper super or like sub societies that um can challenge those norms and can make them better yes and can make them serve us and, and and also can make them avenues and ventures for more creative expression agreed and well said Okay, now that we understand a little bit about the context behind the show, let's check and see how the install is going back at the gallery. We wanted to make use of the space by doing some large scale murals so that it wasn't just all small, small artwork around the room. So uh, with our spray paint sponsored by Loop Spray Paint and LA Unplugged, we asked Ivy Velasquez, Sergio Hernandez, the graffiti artist Go Ader, and graffiti artists Cat Gods and Jazzy to come in and get creative and do some 14-foot murals. It's 
In the middle of our busy install week for Delinquentes, we managed to take some time to go have an editorial photo shoot for the t-shirts we released with Ivy Velasquez, featuring Ivy, her friend Selena, and photographed by our friend Jimmy Bunks. With the murals up, it was time to coordinate all the artwork drop-offs, which meant coordinating logistics with about 50 people. Uh, for anyone trying to put together a group show like this, I recommend using a spreadsheet because it's a lot of people to manage. So uh, our friend Mike Meds uh, of Foo's Gone Wild fame came by and dropped off his pieces. It was great to see all the artists get hyped up for the show. Now I try to include art from a lot of different mediums. I encouraged some of the artists to bring larger pieces, sculptural pieces, and our friend Vile, a uh, Los Angeles graffiti legend actually brought a sawed in half car that he had painted, which was really a beautiful sculpture. We even had a couple of the artists come by and take time to tell us a little more about their art and their practice, uh, which was just awesome to hear about and witness firsthand, and get on the record. My name is Diana Jimenez. I'm from Wilmington, um, which is maybe like 30 minutes from here. Uh, Area. I started making piñatas like 12 years ago, and uh, the name of my piece is uh, Shine Bright Hood Babies. Um, I made it like two weeks prior to the art show, um, made it specifically for this art show. Um, yeah, so um, the stars actually, my son helped me um, put them together. We added um, little phrases that, you know, like the no violence. Um, my son came up with the fight racism, punch racism, you know. Um, those are things that I hold very, you know, they're very important to me and I'm trying to teach my kids to, to you know, care about those same values and, um, yeah. Um, the materials I use are usually uh, cardboard, uh, wheat paste, tissue paper, and then for this piece I added the uh, fake flowers. Um, usually I make them all paper, but um, I really like those so I wanted to add that little touch to the top. And then I also use acrylic, so on the boy I used um, aluminum foil to shape the face and then uh, covered it with paper mache and then used acrylic paint to um, add the details and Beautiful. color. I also wanted to like try to use the different um, techniques of paper cutting so I added to one face like the um, fringe paper and then the other one I just kind of sculpted and used the um, what is it called? Uh, and in Spanish, it's called papel crepe. In English, uh, I forget the name. But yeah, it's uh, two different types of tissue paper that I used. And for her face, I used the papel crepe. What's up? My name is Andrew, Andrew Murga, also known as Andrew B. Can you tell me about some of the artwork on the show? Um, these, this work was inspired, it's more of a personal piece. Um, I do a lot of commissions, so this is like one of my first pieces where I'm actually doing like a person, another person. So I think it was good for the show, so I brought it in. And then this piece has to do with the war in, in Palestine right now. It's kind of like the hypocrisy of, of our nation, pretty much. Spreading peace, but in reality we're just bombing other nations. And these are made with what medium? These are, this is acrylic and oil, and then this is all oil. And I primarily paint in oil. That's like my medium of choice. How long have you been painting for? It's been about 12 years now. What got you yeah. into it? Um, I, I came from skateboarding, so I always wanted to do like, I, wanted, I always wanted to start a skateboarding brand. So it kind of transitioned into art and then into fine art. So I stuck to painting, you know? Amen. 
So my name is Kazi. I'm a 27-year-old artist from Los Angeles. I dabble with clay, um, resin, stop motion music, a bunch of different shit. But like, what you're looking at right now is some um, of my, I don't know necessarily what they're called yet. Like, they're like clay paintings, I would say. It's like a flat work, but it's like sculptural too. So, you know what I mean? Like, it's not necessarily a painting, but it's not necessarily a sculpture. It's like something weird in the middle because there's like dimension to it. Yeah, and like part of my process is that I don't draw these things. So I got into the medium of clay and like sculpting and stuff because I always fucking sucked at like drawing and painting. That was never like a medium I was good at. And so when I first um, like started sculpting, I just like went and like stole a bunch of clay because I didn't have any money. Stole a bunch of clay and I made my first sculpture and that shit came out like really cool. And I was just like, all right this is something that makes sense to me, like dimension, like things that I can see in like real like dimension makes sense to me. Like drawing, I, I can't like translate an idea into a drawing the same way that I could a sculpture or like these, you know what I'm saying? So I don't draw them out or anything. I kind of just like start, you know, laying clay down and like kind of just filling out the piece and filling out where things need to go. All right, so right here I got this banner right here. I literally just went to Joanne's and like got a like a yard and just like I did a art show uh, last summer and that's when I first made this. Over time I spilled some detergent on this. So I just started adding more color to cover it up, you know, happy mistakes, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's like this is a banner that I use for like uh, my bands and stuff. Like I play in this band called Filero and that's, that's basically what a lot of this stuff is. Uh, like right here, this one is a, just a bootleg of this, uh, this rap crew from Santa Monica and, and like the 90s and shit. But yeah, it's just like my own little kind of like, you know, right here you got like the fucking 1312 right here. You got like just like little scenes it's like a little scene of like a you know i don't know just i guess what the music is about you know kind of representing that just the lifestyle or whatever um and then right here uh is a this is a swedish band from like i think i forget what the actual name of the of the place they're from but this is g anks it's a swedish punk band uh this right here, this E that I'm always drawing, I have it kind of like right here, kind of in a, a lot of my pieces. It's, it stands for equality. It's more of like a anarcho kind of crust punk thing from like the UK. But uh, I kind of put my own version of it by just, you know, making it a symbol, by uh, making it, usually they do an uppercase E. I was like, might as well put my own twist and make it my own by doing a lowercase E. And uh, yeah, I think it just looks original in my opinion, so. But yeah, that's what, a lot of this stuff is inspired by punk and like, like street art influences, like graffiti and stuff, so yeah. A lot of bands, a lot of music, a lot of different forms of art that I'm into and obsess over, so yeah. Now that all the art had arrived and been installed, it was time for really the best moment with all the hard work pays off for, and that is the opening party for Delinquentes. The opening party for the exhibition was truly a magical experience. I would say throughout the night, we probably had about a thousand people or more show up. Uh, a lot of really sick, Creatives from around Los Angeles, lowrider car clubs, art appreciators, just characters from all across the board came out to show support, love for community, and uh, enjoy each other's company. Uh, I get so busy at these openings, um, answering questions, talking about art, coordinating with my staff. I hired my friend Jerry to be my man on the ground and do some interviews with the party people. And uh, here's, here's a little bit of Jerry on the ground at the party for Delinquentes. Uh, we, got, we got stickers here. Super Chief Gallery at Delin 
delincuente, delincuente, delincuentes, uh, a fine art group show. Hola. And what do you think about the art? What are you doing here? What brings you here? Do you like that beer? Is it free? Free beer, every time. And what else do you do every time you see art? I like that. I like that. I feel accepted here. Or do you feel accepted here? Oh yeah. And what what brings you here? Free beer. The free beer. That's great. Yeah. Any any uh, any more words for the camera? Any words for the for the people at home? Like, why should we give a fuck about your art? Too you don't much. Have to. Too much. Me vale madre. Okay. I don't care. I don't care if you like it. No, I don't care. Why do I you make do? It for me. For me. Ah. It's like masturbating, but with paint. So you're here to support the homies. You're here to get inebriated. I'm already there. You're already I've there. Been there since about 6:30. Not square. Not square. Circular. Circular. Very circular. A whole circle like this. What What have you been doing today? Just drinking. I'm Just drink. Up. Nice. Yeah. So you pregame to the pregame to now. Always. That's how you gotta show up to events. You gotta show up already fucked up. That's the secret. Beautiful. Did yes, you roll up in one of the crazy whips out there? One of the the red one right out front. If you wanna come take a little video, let me know. Damn, maybe we should. Maybe we should. If you want, if you to, want to, let's yeah. do it. Let's, let's do, do it. This, okay, this is it's, for Super It's cheap. my man's car. My child right here. Damn, dude, that's fucking crazy. You wanna hop in the driver's seat? Should I? Come, come with me. Please. Okay, fuck yeah. Ah, dude, this is crazy. I'll take the passenger. Whatever, whatever. Whatever you're allowed. Whatever you're allowing me to do. Damn, dude, this is crazy. Now swivel it. Just throw your body. Put them in the full Nelson, you see? Damn, in the full Nelson, dude. Wow, dude. And and do you know they they worked on every part on this thing or what? Oh yeah, the last three years, this man has put his heart and soul into this car. Yes, sir. Let's, uh, let's shine some light up in here. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Look at that. We got the shiny, the shiny shine on the steering wheel. The little Miller High Life. On the Very on this fantastic thing. Fantastic things happen in this car. Y'all don't even know the things that happen in this car. If I were to tell you, y'all be pregnant in a moment. I think I'm getting pregnant right now, actually. <laughs> Man, this is sick as hell, dude. What's in here? What's this? Do we know what? Do you know what that is? So this closest one right here. Yeah. Put it up. Push up. Push up. Push up. Whoa! Oh, it's a holy low. shit, dude! Holy shit! <laughs> Dude, what do I fucking do with this one? Pull it back. On the same button? Same button, pull it back. You're no longer a virgin! Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, he really did pop my cherry right now. You got it? Drop it, baby. All the way, there you go. Damn, dude. I feel like a little kid, like, yeah! Oh my god! Alright, alright. Thank you guys so much. Where can we, yeah, how do we? Right here, push down. Cat Donuts, the, the photographer, artist, a spectacular millionaire. What's up? How are you doing? I'm all right. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, so you're a millionaire at heart. Uh, yeah, millionaire actually. Yeah, you, oh, my bad. Oh, millionaire actually and in the heart. And uh, where, what are you doing with your millions here? I'm not drinking. I'm sober right now, but um, there's balloons in the alley just to let you know. Still sober though. From alcohol, but... No, California sober. California sober, yeah. California sober is the best way to be sober. Yeah. I'm not going to get a DUI, so fuck it. You want another beer? Yeah. Taylor! Two of your finest colas, Taylor. Two of your finest colas. Hey, bada bada bada. Hey, bada bada. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got nothing for you, dude. That's okay. That's okay. The community. Do you have anything to say about the community? I love the community. I love it, bro. Everything here is fucking crazy, bro. Like, all the artists are so talented. I am happy to be here, bro. I'm lit. I'm turned. I'm having a good time. What a republic we live in. What a republic. Look at how many beautiful people there are here. Look at the beautiful people. Let's go get a beer. Cheers. What's up? <laughs> Sweet Jesus. I'm drunk. You want to get interviewed? Let's do it. Okay. Um, we're here with 
Brian. Brian, uh, what brings you here, Brian? I came here for the art and just to show my girl a good time. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. We all want to show our people's good times and we all want to show our people's good life, man. Not Sounds right. like you're living a good life. Are you living a good life? Yeah, I just got a sweet little baby promotion at work, so Woo! it's time to wild out now. Let's go, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, man. What, what are y'all doing here? Gallery. Fucking right in the pussy. Oh, shit. It was him. That was him. Shout out to the Super Chief Gallery, though. I've been coming here for a very long time. Let's see what they do with this yeah, footage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just here to do interviews. All right, man. Well, there's some good artists here. You got to, if you know, you know, there's some good artists here, so interview them. Absolutely, man. I'm hey. just your local fool. Man, I'm I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. That's, How's everything going? It's going good, man. Yeah. And we're here with Bill. Yeah, we're here at the night of the show. We're here with the guy that, that hired me. Yeah. How's it been going? Are they treating you nicely? They're treating me great. They're yeah. treating me nicely. It's just beautiful to see you help curate a, an event where where everyone can connect. Thanks, man. Have yeah. you always been about that? Have you always been about connecting? Yeah, making art accessible for people is my number one, really. I don't like when people think of the art world, they think it's for like stuffy old rich people and it's just a way to launder money and and to, like just be elitist. I, I like to be the total opposite of that and make art accessible and exciting and fun and something that embraces the underground and that everybody can participate in and have a good time. Oh shit! Any words for the camera? Nah, hey, this event, real dope. It's lovely seeing a bunch of different art, community, all the Cardi, all the Cardi shit. Beautiful. I started to see spaciousness so big. I roll with gangsters, pill poppers, and bankers. I got partners like work. Hey, yo, shout out Super Cheap. Shout out my nigga Jay, bro. This my nigga right here. I love this dude right here, bro. Hey, Lifetime family, bro. Real niggas only, bro. Fuck with us, bro. I don't know what the name of the station is, but we out here, bitch. Let's go. You know, Let's go. I, I learned that from him. You feel me? Being tall is smelling good. I learned that from my boy right here. You feel me? Like, this We're both six foot up. Yeah. We six feet, y'all. Y'all can't tell me everybody's so short in this motherfucker. You feel me? Like, or actually, everybody taller than this bitch. We just same height. But right. yeah. And we're here with ASAP. ASAP. ASO JK. And are you gonna give me some of your balloon or? Yeah, you want a balloon? I got you. I'd love to. Yeah, I got your oh balloon. Oh my god, that's I got you on my face though. Oh my god! I know, dog. Hey, I got two hundred employees. Okay. Fuck yeah. Uh, what brings you here? Uh, the culture, my boy, the culture. It's not graffiti since I was born, dog. You know, I, I should have been a fourth generation gangbanger, but I chose graffiti instead. So here I am, dog, representing ASO JK, dog. That's beautiful, bro. That's oh, yeah, beautiful. I mean, That's beautiful. Has anybody ever told you how much of a beautiful person you are? Yeah, I got a wife and kids, so they love me, dog. Thank thankfully, bro. I'm a piece of shit, you know, and uh, I, I, I know my shit, dog. And uh, I, I, aside from that, I present with a fucking culture, my boy. You feel me? Let's go. The truth, LA. It lives right here, dog. This is the breeze right here, my boy. We ain't going nowhere, my boy. It's where we at, dog. All fucking day. All fucking day. This fucking guy. <laughs> and what do you have to say about this fucking guy? Fuck that guy. Yeah, and anything else uh, for, the, for the camera? Do, do, do you want to tell that? Shout out to Classico, shout out Super Chief, shout out fucking Sal. Let's fucking go! Yeah! UFC! Yeah. It's <laughs> time! Hey, cut this part out. Drop that style. And say hello to my little friend. Oh yeah, baby! Oh shit! Uh, yeah! <laughs> there's, a, there's a hole in my brain the size of Arizona! Damn! Whoa! He did a really great job, so thank you, Jerry.
With a truly epic night behind us and morale riding high uh, from just an incredible opening party, uh, it was time to move on to the run of the show. The gallery would be cleaned up <laughs> from quite a mess after the, the party and then be open for regular visiting hours. Uh, right now, we're actually preparing for a special screening of a movie called Hellbound Boys, directed by one of the artists in the show, Sergio Hernandez, who is, oddly enough, Daniel Hernandez's brother, bringing a nice familial uh, thread through the show. Um, Sergio is a tattoo artist and graffiti artist based in San Diego. During the 2020 pandemic, he read some books and taught himself how to do screenwriting for movies. He wrote this film, Hellbound Boys, and produced and directed it on his own. It's an incredible film. I'm very happy to close out Delincuentes with a screening of it. I think it's a perfect fit, and I'm really looking forward to showing uh, what I think is gonna be a cult classic, underground film, truly a work of art in the vein of like a Larry Clark kids-esque type of movie. Uh, I'm really excited to show it, and I think people are gonna love it, and I'm, uh, I'm honored to be on the early tip for this one. We, we open the gallery on uh, every day except for Mondays, free to visit. It's a time for people to come and be here to appreciate the art rather than the environment of the party. It was awesome to see how many people came through over the course of the weeks that the show was open. Uh, and to those of you who watched this YouTube video, if you guys like this type of content, if you like these long form episodes about what it's like to produce art shows at Super Chief Gallery, please let us know in the comments. Give us a, a like and a subscribe and uh, it'll motivate us to do more.